Hey everyone, Ryan from e Bike Escape. One of the questions that I get quite frequently is, should I buy an electric bike with a torque sensor or should I buy an electric bike with a cadence sensor? And to be honest with you, it's a difficult question to answer because I don't necessarily know you. I don't know your athletic ability. I don't know how familiar you are with riding a bike or how comfortable you are. So in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the differences. It's a continuation of my conversation with Kevin Duggar from Ride One Up. Now they offer one model with a torque sensor. That is the Limited, which I have reviewed on this channel as well as on my website, ebikeescape.com. But all of their other models have a cadence sensor. So a lot of people ask, should I spend the extra money to get the Limited? Now, if you're not familiar with what a cadence sensor is or torque sensor, I wanna explain that just briefly and I'll show you a couple examples. So a cadence sensor simply determines whether you are spinning the pedals. It doesn't matter how hard you're spinning them, it doesn't matter what gear you're on, there are basically magnets that sense whether the pedals are spinning. And I'm familiar with two types of cadence sensors. One is where the magnets are kind of external. From my understanding, this is a little bit of a more affordable option for electric bike companies to put on, such as this one on our Rad Wagon. And then there are also more internal cadence sensors, such as the one on our Aerial Rider X-Class. Now, the torque sensors are a little bit different because they actually sense how much pressure or how much torque you are putting on the pedals. So the harder you pedal, the more the motor kicks on. It's a little bit difficult to explain if you haven't had the chance to try both of them, but I think it is still worth discussing. So with that, let's get into the discussion with Kevin Duggar. We talk more about cadence sensor versus torque sensor, and of course, 700 series versus limited. I hope you find this video useful. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. I also have relevant links in the description to my popular electric bike accessories list as well as my electric bike deals page. Of course, there's much more information on my website, ebikeescape.com, if you haven't checked it out. And as I'm recording this, I'm also tracking Black Friday deals, so I'll also put a link to that list in the description. With that, let's get to the interview. I wanted to talk about um, this question because I get it a ton, and I, there's so many people in the Ride One Up Facebook group torque versus cadence and this kind of turns into a 700 series as well versus limited should i spend the extra uh 300 so maybe uh would just love to hear you i have my own thoughts but love to hear your your get your take yeah and the torque sensor isn't a, the large part of the cost increase sure uh, you know it's the components that are used in the limited that are more expensive it's using the air fork and you know much uh, more expensive brakes and, and other components that are more expensive and the frame welds, um, just other little changes that make it more expensive. Um, but but yeah, the torque sensor versus cadence sensor is it's definitely a tricky one and one that some people maybe, um, you know, we've had the problem of some people buy without kind of knowing what to expect. Mm -hmm. uh, so they get it and then want to like kind of, um, use like they want to pedal casually like you would with a cadence sensor and get that peak performance right like more like oh i'm just cruising and i want to go flying up places but uh the way we have them set i mean even if I, you, you've you've had plenty of time to ride our updated software and obviously there was yep. a change from gen one to now and you know all the bikes moving forward have that newer software that you have um it it, it is relatively easy to apply enough pressure to kind of go fly to, to boost the controller and the output up to 800 plus watts uh, but it definitely takes effort it definitely rides more like or it, it engages more like a regular bike um, but it, it is it is something that requires effort as opposed to the cadence sensor of i can just spin the cranks or spin the pedals and you know the bike will do the work yeah i, I think mean, that yeah th that sums it up pretty good i mean I feel like, I don't know, I don't see any either one being better, it's just different. Yeah. And we can get up to 28 miles per hour on the Limited, we can get 28 miles per hour on the 500 series, and, yeah. um, you know, we, if... I and, love people's the, feedback on, on if they prefer the torque or the cadence, because we are flirting with uh, just keeping it all cadence, so our software mm -hmm. is the same, and our 
you know, obviously it's easier for repair parts. It's easier for maintaining and, and explaining and simple ease of use and all these other things to not have that torque sensor model or just to not have the torque sensor keep the limited, of course, but just have it a function and feel like the core five because you know you've ridden the core five a lot too and it obviously the feel of that riding isn't it's not bad uh there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with it it's just uh the limited is going to be more it's more customizable in like in your legs it's more yeah. your your settings are more what your legs are doing and what your what physical gear you're in and how you you know like you can you can you almost feel more uh, i think we may have talked about this or somebody else may have mentioned it but you feel more bionic you feel like super powered yeah as, as opposed to the core five uh it still may feel that way but it's less like it less feels like you're doing it or you're responsible with your leg input uh for how that bike is going to be lurching forward yeah that that in the torque sensor like it encourages you to pedal harder yeah it's like my wife will put it on the highest gear and she'll just she just I mean, she just flies to the uh, the farmer's market when the weather's nice. And, like, yeah, she'll just pedal that thing as hard as she can. And um, so, I mean, that's one advantage. If you kind of want to work out and you want a regular bike feel, then the torque sensor is nice. But, again, if you're a little bit maybe nervous about hopping on an e-bike or you don't know, you're, you question your athletic ability a little bit or, um, you know, I think the cadence is nice because, you know, you can pretty much have the – the uh the pedal spinning with zero effort um so it's nice to have that option i guess and you can right. apply just such a little amount of of effort if, if you want so right yeah i'd be curious to know how many people would prefer to have kind of that limited model with just a cadence sensor uh, because yeah. there's still the 750 watt motor and all the other little perks that it comes with lighter much lighter bike um then and a, and a better integrated battery like it, it does have all of those nice things um but but with the torque sensor so it's like it has that added variable that we almost you know like i said we're flirting with not not having it as much as i like it personally it did bring us more problems because it didn't match expectations always yeah. um you know and i've had people complain like oh it doesn't it's not as torquey as i thought it would be or it doesn't have as much torque and it's i i'd get bikes back uh return that that they're thought like oh this isn't torquing right like it's not accelerating like it should and then we you know i'd go ride it and i'd go ride it up hills and i'd be i'd be flying and i could ride next to somebody on the 700 and clear you know i can i can easily get more torque out of it but it's just I think it's a difference in expectations. They'll compare yeah. it to their wife or their friends, 700 or 500 and go, well, look, they can just throttle or they can just, you know, spin their cranks and they're flying. And I'm like, you know, I'm not going as fast over here, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Good point. So well, I mean, yeah, it's, it's fast, but it's definitely a different, a different um, approach to how you would accelerate it for now, at least while we still have the torque sensor. So if you want yeah. a torque sensor, get it while you can <laughs> from us, other yeah. companies, and other companies will still probably have torque sensor options. And make a comment uh, on the video on your preference, and uh, I will forward any thoughts to, uh, to Kevin. <laughs>